This is one of those relative motion questions where we know everything on the right-hand side of the equal sign. We know what the boat is doing. We know what the water is doing. So for this one, we literally just have to draw those two vectors and then add them. To draw and add vectors, draw the first one. So the first one's north 30 degrees east. So for that, I'm going to draw an artificial reference line. That's straight north. So from my starting point, I need to be 30 degrees east of that. So I'm going to draw a great big vector so it's easy for me to look at later. That is 30 degrees. And this side is going to be however long x is. Uh, you can put in your own number when you get there. Uh, where that first vector ends, I'm going to draw the second vector. So from this point up here, I need another artificial north. And the second vector happens to be 30 degrees to the west of that. So I'm going to add that here. I'm not sure what y is. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter just so I can emphasize, um, just so we can see it a little bit better. And since it was 30 degrees north, 30 degrees west, the 30 goes in here. When we're adding vectors, you always connect the very, very starting point to the very, very ending point. So very starting point out here ending point way up there. I want to solve for that. When I'm done it, I also want to have an angle. Um, the interior angle of the triangle is going to be this. Let's call that Greek letter theta. I'm going to eventually you're going to do some trig and find that angle, but unfortunately that theta doesn't really tell me how far away from north the resultant is. That theta tells me how far away from x x happened to be 30 degrees away from north. So really what I would like is this angle in here between north and the resultant. So once I'm all done my trig, my final answer um, is going to be straight north. And then in this case, 30 minus theta will be the angle towards the east. If your y is bigger than your x, then uh, It'll be a little bit different. It'll still be uh, it'll be theta minus 30 to the west instead of 30 minus theta. But if your y is smaller, then that little angle that's left over is going to be the full 30 degrees. Take away theta. That's what's left. Okay, so you'll need that later. Uh, jumping back to to how to solve this, the real ugliness of this triangle that I drawn in black, purple, and red is that we don't know an internal angle. This will become a little bit easier with practice. Uh, but how I see it is if we extend this dotted line backwards. If we extend it backwards, then we've got a Z pattern going on. The red lines that I drew kind of muddle it. So I'm going to kind of go over it. This might make it worse too, but I'm going to go over with a highlighter. Uh, this line here, and then this one, and then this one, they form a Z pattern. So because there is a 30 down here, there's also a 30 over here. That's just a Z pattern thing. The blue, those two 30s, they're part of a straight line. Um, so like this is all a straight line. So that's 180 degrees. 30 degrees are used up at the top of it. 30 degrees are used up at the bottom of it. So what's left is 180, take away 130, take away another 30 is 120. So the interior angle is 120 degrees. Now it's going to turn into a cosine law problem. So look up if you can't, if you don't have it memorized or look it up what cosine law is. You know the x and the y and the angle between them. So you can just crank out cosine law. That'll tell you how long v is. Once you get how long v is, and then you can do sine law with opposite pairs to get angle theta. Then once you get angle theta, You'll have to do this ugliness that I talked about, interpreting that theta in terms of straight north. That's just a little bit to get you started with the triangle. Um, see if that helps. Uh, and if not, shoot me another email or we'll talk in class and figure it out together.